article. We're going to do it. All right, let's go into the first one. How terrible was a chair squeaking, Chad? This is on the Ralph Retort blog uh, entitled Fear. And this is the article he wrote. Lovely picture of tombstones. <laughs> uh, look how fast this was published. Remember, I did the stream at the very end of the month. So, yeah, he immediately wrote this. What must it be like to live in abject fear? Not the everyday variety. Life is hard and we're all scared to some degree. Sickness, death, birth, life, the mysteries of existence. These things have torn at the psyche of greater and lesser men since the beginning of time. Fear itself is not new. What I'm talking about, a different kind of fear. One that keeps you from leaving your house. One that causes you to change your name you were born with. One that pushes you into looting your fellow citizens into the nightmare COVID regime? All because at your core you are a scared old man who's simply afraid to die. You've never had any real convictions your whole life. You're proud of that even? Or so you say. In reality, you are a scared child. Praying, hoping, wishing that you could escape your just rewards. You'll do anything. Suck off anyone to avoid it. You simply can't live as you have portrayed yourself. It's too much. You cry about in your Twitter DMs. You whine to your fat Asian hog. But deep down, you know this is what you signed up for. And you can't fucking stand it. Your entire life is a fabrication. You duck and dive and do whatever you possibly can to avoid the piper getting paid. You put your own family at risk. You do anything, anything at all to avoid simply owning up to your deeds. You have no core whatsoever. And what do you claim is your personality traits are simply things you read on a message board? Most people would see this as a hellish existence because it is. <laughs> there are mistakes I have made to be sure. But I could never and would never live like a fucking bitch. Scared to leave my house. Scared of the name my daddy gave me. Scared of fucking COVID. Scared of anything and everything. It's all terror to you when the microphone is off. We all know it, too. It's very easy to see a scared old man coughing up one of his last breaths in between lame monologues and weren't even funny two years ago, much less now. I literally would have rather died. In the <laughs> I literally would have rather died in the street the other day here in Lisbon than live like a fucking coward. If you can even call what I described above as living, some people are fine with the delusions. They're comforted by them, even. I understand. I, too, used to love the thought of Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy. But there comes a time when childish delusions about a childish loser must come to an end. It's a natural course of life. You see? Well, if you actually live life, if you live like a scared old bitch, well, maybe you continue in your delusions. I won't hold it against you. The Emperor has no clothes. He has no children. And he has very few white blood cells left, allegedly. Maybe in another life he wasn't such a pussy. See you tomorrow night on the Kill Stream. Ooh. Oh. Oh, devastating. It's a little bit spicy, chat. 